My French knight takes your English bishop. Your Majesty's adroit. Pardon, sir. Too snug. Why do all tailors want to strangle one's armpits? Your Majesty, the English ambassadors extraordinary insist that I convey their compliments. They've already done that. I'll see them when I'm ready. That's my job. They wish respectfully, sir, to call your attention to the fact that they have been waiting for three days. Let them wait. That's their job. Ambassadors are paid to pace about in empty rooms, especially in these times of uneasy peace. They have an urgent communication from Henry of England, sir. The King of England and his ambassadors can drown themselves in what they are impertinent enough to call their English channel. <laughs> but, Your Majesty, the extradition of a criminal is a courtesy due from one crowned head to another. My dear man, crowned heads are free to play the little game of courtesy, but nations owe one another none. Oh. All right, show them in, show them in. Now, you may stay. The ambassadors can share our attention with our tailor. It will demonstrate to the English their exact social status at our court. May I be permitted to present to Your Majesty the two envoys extraordinary from His Highness Henry of England, His Grace the Bishop of London, and Robert de Beaumont, Duke of Leicester. Welcome, my lords. Fresh from England, how is our good King Henry? He was well, Your Majesty, when we left him. Two weeks ago? Two weeks to cross the channel? Gentlemen. We have been waiting upon your majesty for three days. Why was I not informed? Giraud. Your, your majesty? You see what I have to contend with. But perhaps I can make it up to you. Would you permit me to furnish you with some French garments made by our craftsmen here? It will only take two weeks. We thank your majesty, but we have urgent business in Rome. Too bad. Well, uh, is there anything else I can do for you? I wish to deliver a message from Henry, King of England, to his friend Louis, King of the French. We are all ears. He wishes you to oh, know... Just one moment. Yes, do continue. He wishes you to know that Thomas Beckett, Archbishop of Canterbury, has been found guilty of treason and has forthwith fled his kingdom. He therefore entreats you not to allow this criminal to reside within your territories, nor to permit any of your vassals to give counsel or support to him. He solemnly declares that your enemies would receive none from him, nor from his subjects. Henry, King of England, Duke of Normandy. Gentlemen, we have listened most attentively to your sovereign's gracious request and we shall shortly be drafting a formal reply to it. In the meantime, however, we can only express our astonishment. No news has reached us of the Archbishop of Canterbury's presence in our domains. But, sire, we have word that he is in your domains. He's taken refuge in the Abbey of Samata. My Lord Bishop, we flatter ourselves there is some order in our kingdom. If he were there, we should most certainly have been informed. 